Rick was a great guy. Anybody could call him any time, and he was just, you know, there to help anybody and everybody. I had brought a chainsaw over for him to cut down a tree the next day, and we went over to his home and was kind of laughing and joking, and uh, I left about 10.30 the night that he passed away. I was at a neighbor's home. I looked out the door and saw flames coming out of the house. I just said, oh my God, what happened? That's, I was just hoping he was okay. About six o'clock in the morning, I got a knock on the door from a Mary and Deb and asked me, and I pretty much knew something was wrong. At first I thought maybe he left something on the stove he was cooking, but then I found out differently. One of the more insidious and invisible causes of fire in the home is older or damaged wiring. In this country, there are 50 million homes that are over 40 years old and have wiring in them over 40 years old. Um, the older your wiring, the more susceptible it is to deterioration. In this country, there are about 40,000 electrical wiring mishaps each year that lead to fires in residences. It's one of the leading causes of fires. One of the most dangerous electrical conditions is arc faulting, which results not only from older wiring, but wiring that we may unknowingly damage ourselves. It could be uh, a nail impinging on the wires, or it may be a piece of furniture that is impinging upon a cord. And quite often, this does not create enough current, enough electricity to trip a normal fuse or a normal circuit breaker. Instead, the arcing and sparking and festering will continue, and it, and it generates extreme heats enough to ignite the surrounding materials, and then you have a fire situation. In the aftermath of the fire that killed Mary Arlen's fiance, Rick Jorgensen, investigators determined that an arc fault from a window air conditioning unit was to blame for the blaze. In the bedroom where the main fire was, everything was gone. Everything was just totally gone. One very effective way to suppress arc faults before they cause a fire is an arc fault circuit interrupter, which attaches to a home's circuit breaker. The arc fault circuit interrupter detects this arc and then will shut the electrical system down. It trips the circuit breaker to remove the electricity. It distinguishes between the normal electricity and the arcing and sparking electrical phenomena that can lead to fires. And if your house is older, have the wiring inspected by a licensed electrician. If your wiring is old, make sure you get it checked and have it replaced. Um, it, it might have saved Rick's life.